Hi folks, Captain Mike here from Salty Cape and today we're ground fishing in Nantucket Sound. Fourth of July is coming up and we're transitioning into summer mode, which is a time when striped bass get a little harder to catch during daytime hours. So it's a great time to focus on some of the great ground fishing that we still have. Today we're off Nantucket targeting big scup, big sea bass, and hopefully fluke too. So Nantucket Sound, particularly where it meets the cooler water of the Atlantic, you know, all the way towards the eastern portion of Cape Cod, has excellent ground fishing all season long. So the name of the game with fluke fishing is getting your drifts dialed in. And uh, so we just made about a mile long drift. We had uh, intermittent fluke action, some sea bass and some scup. And then we went off into a little deeper water and started getting dogfish. So we picked up, we're just gonna go right back to where we started that drift, make long happy drifts and really focus on the zone where we're getting the most fluke. So when I'm targeting fluke, I really have two jig retrieves, if you will. Uh, one, what I call the twitchy retrieve, where I'm making that jig dance and dart, those beaky teasers really coming alive above it. And uh, that's a really great technique. It gives it a lot of action, especially in shallower water, like today we're in about 25 feet of water. So I'm just doing a lot of short twitches. And then other times I'll just dead stick it. I'll just let it sit flat on the bottom, particularly if I have squid on the teasers. Um, and I'll just sit and wait and wait for a bump as the sinker bounces on the bottom. Now the beauty of the beaky, oh, there's a, there's a fish right there. Now the beauty of the beaky teasers is that if you do lose your bait, you're still in the game because those lifelike teasers really do a good job at attracting fluke. This is a decent fish coming in and just put him right in the net. You can see he comes in on the jig. Captain John did a great job. Looks like he's hooked up too. So we'll measure this guy, see if he's legal and then get back in the game, hopefully for a bigger doormat. So this guy's a little over 18 inches. So he's legal here in Massachusetts. And uh, we're gonna put him in the cooler and see if we can't get a few more. So when I tip these rigs with squid, it's about as simple as cutting a small inch or two inch piece of squid. And I just tip each hook with one, just one little single piece. I want a long um, flutter in the water. Uh, the funny thing about fluke fishing is you ask a hundred folks how they rig for fluke, you'll get a hundred different answers. But um, this is the way I've been doing it um, for over 30 years when I tip hooks, I just do one single hook through, um, relatively small pieces of squid, sometimes I'll go bigger. Um, but with this rig, uh, particularly um, you know, inshore and more shallow water, just a small one or two inch piece of uh, squid is really all you need. Here's the setup I've been using today. I have the Hoagie Hybrid Rod, um, an Avid LX two speed, which is a little overkill, but comes in handy when I use the same outfit south of Martha's Vineyard for uh, trolling for football sized tuna. Uh, today I'm using the Sand Eel Jig. Um, we're finding a lot of the fluke and sea bass we've been catching. I've been speeding up small sand eels, so I figured this was a good place to start. You'll notice the teaser assist hook on this jig, it matches the Jig Beaky rig that I'm using. So today I'm using the 5.0 Crystal Flash Jig Beaky rig. And um, this is pretty much my standard operating uh, ground fish setup. I use the same setup for sea bass, haddock, cod, and today uh, fluke. Well, today was, um, we hit for the rotation with fluke, sea bass, 
and scup. You know, if you dogfish and a bluefish, that may not have made the cut. But anyway, this is a very uh, handy utilitarian outfit. And um, so today, when we're targeting fluke, I would call today's method sort of a, you know, it's funny, I'm using the hybrid rod, but a, a hybrid between bottom fishing with bait and vertical jigging. And uh, so this jig beaky rig is cool uh, in the sense that the sabiki style teasers on 5.0 fluke appropriate hooks, um, fluke will hit these all the time, but I'll still, I'm old school, I'll still tip these teasers with a little bit of bait. But the beauty of the teasers, these beaky teasers, they match the assist hook on these jigs, is if you do get your bait stolen by a scup or a sea bass or even a small fluke, you're still in the game. You're not bait free down there. And I like that it matches the uh, teaser assist hook on the sand eel jig because it creates a whole little school effect of like maybe a little small pod of sand eels milling around on the bottom. Just doing the short little twitch. Oh, I'm getting hit, getting hit. Got him. Now this guy doesn't feel very flukish. There's some big scup and big sea bass in these spots too. It's a big sea bass, nice. I will take it, and your rods like the line. And these are tied with fluke for my favorite eating fish. And land this guy, he came in the top teaser. This guy's going in the cooler for sure. I want to talk specs real quick. So today we're using an eight and a half ounce sand eel jig in deeper water. Uh, today we're in 30 feet, but if I go into much deeper water, say up to 90 or 100, I might upsize all the way to a 12 um, or 16 ounce sand eel jig. Um, in closer in Vineyard near Tucket Sounds, I might go down as low as three and a half ounces. But today, with strong current in 30 feet of water, we needed the eight and a half ounce sand eel. Uh, with these teasers, the lure size is less important. It's amazing how such small fish can go after big jigs. So the actual size of the jig is not really a concern to me. In my opinion, it's the school effect of all these beaky style teasers all over the place that are drawing the fish in. I'm not happy that we're tied in fluke, but I'm happy to end the day with a double header. I'm just gonna swing him in. Got my guy, CJB, he's on the board. Ha. Well, folks, great day here on Nantucket, fluke fishing, and we've got dinner, sea bass, scup, fluke, and it's getting a little late in the day, so it's go time. Yeah.